Andrew Tucker and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on all my great people? What's going on all my boxing fans? Um, this is just a reaction video to my brother uh, True School Sports, um, one of the best boxing channels in the YouTube boxing community. Uh, he is a legend. Uh, over the years, he have put out great content. He have done great interviews. He have did a he have he have did a lot. He did a lot to contribute to the sport of boxing, and uh, played a, a major role. You know, played a major role when it comes to the YouTube boxing community. Um, interviewing fighters, putting out great content, um, doing live commentary. I mean, he did it all. You know, and um, I give True School Sports my utmost respect. I give him the utmost respect. I'm sorry. I give him the utmost respect. Um, True School Sports, I understand. All I got to say is this, my brother, I understand. Um, I know how you feel. Um, I was feeling the same way. You know, it's plenty of times I wanted to give up on YouTube. Plenty of times I just re really wanted to quit YouTube. I wanted to, I wanted to delete my channel. But uh, I'm surrounded by a lot of great brothers uh, uh, that was encouraged. Um, incur uh, that was encouraging, uh, current, uh, I'm sorry, I can't even talk right now, that was encouraging me, uh, um, to stay, you know, uh, to continue to keep putting out content, and I did it, number one reason is because I do have some close, close friends that are subscribers, um, close friends that are subscribers, uh, some true, uh, loyal fans, um, whether, uh, that's part of the, the Tucker UK Army, Tucker Army UK Army, and my brothers, that's also part of the MBBC, you know, talking to some of my brothers behind the scene, and they tell me all the time, don't give up, plenty of times they wanted to give up, you know, just wanted to give up, because basically what's going on in the sport of boxing, basically what's going on, like, in the sport of boxing, but also in the YouTube boxing community. You know, uh, and the thing is, true, true school sports. You know, I understand my brother. You know, uh, I really understand. Um, but I just want to look at it a little bit. You know, actually look at your video once again. You know, uh, but this is it's, it's, I can I can I respect your decision. On wanting to give up on YouTube I mean I'm sorry quit YouTube as far as the boxing side of YouTube you know uh, I know it's very toxic you know what's going on in the community is very toxic you know and I understand I was I've been feeling that way for a long time you know what I mean uh, uh, and then a lot of the drama a lot of confusion a lot of drama you know a lot of uh, a lot of hate, a lot of divit is just division, no unity, it's a lot of hate, you know, people threatening people on here, you know, uh, trying to take things to a whole nother level with threatening people, you know, uh, and just really getting out of, getting really, is really getting out of hand, is really getting out of control, so I understand, and then also when it comes to the sport of boxing, a lot of a lot that's going on in the sport. I, I know we've been, I know we have been getting great fights and things of that nature. So <clears throat> I appreciate the sport of boxing for putting on great fights, you know. For and I know we want to see the best fight the best, but what goes on behind the scene, you know, a lot of that, you know, the business side, the politics, you know, and then the the war, uh, the war when it comes to certain fighters, and then the racism. You know, in the sport of boxing, it's just a lot of, it's just a lot, you know, honestly. Um, but uh, I just want to look at a little bit at your video again, man. You know, I don't, I really don't want you to quit, my brother. I really don't want you to quit. You know, uh, cause you, you as a, you are a great, you are a great content creator. One of the best content creators out there. One of the most hardworking. 
uh, content creators, one of the most hardworking YouTube boxing channels out there. You know, and um, we appreciate everything you have done in the YouTube boxing community. We appreciate everything you have done for the sport of boxing. You know, uh, appreciate your dedication. We, pre we appreciate your determination. We appreciate your hard work. We appreciate everything you, you have done, you know, to contribute to the sport of boxing. We, we appreciate everything, you know. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. And this video, we're not gonna waste too much time. This is not a drill. This is not me faking. Everything I say in this video, I mean from the bottom of my heart. Now, I just want to let you guys know that I'm, I'm out the game. I'm out the game. I don't want to cover the sport of boxing no more. I'm done with it. Um, you know, I, I, I've been thinking this for a long time, but like over these last near 60 days that I've been away from South Florida, being involved in boxing more, uh, being exposed to some more things in boxing, you know, I just, I don't, I don't want anything to do with the sport anymore because it's not a sport. It's, it's, a, it's a business masqueraded as a sport. And I would implore every and all boxing fans that watch my channel to go do something else with their time. You know, uh, you, you would be better suited to go do something else with your time because this sport isn't what it seems like, what it, what it, what it seems to be on TV. There's a lot of things that go into um, what happens in boxing. And um, I just want no part of it anymore. You know, I want no part of it. The sport's not going in a good direction. Uh, you know, I've over 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 the, over the last six years, I've, I've I've become friends with a handful of fighters in boxing, um, of all ethnicities, of all levels. You know, I got some friends that are, you know, at certain levels. You know, world level. Some friends that are prospects. You know, and I've seen what the sport has done to them, and I, and and and, it, and, it, and it's left a sour taste in my mouth, and it's just it's just it's getting increasingly difficult to go on and on covering the sport, knowing that. Um, most of what I'm seeing on the television screen is a lie and it's and it's manipulated. So I don't want to be involved in it no more. I've already done everything that 19 year old me set out to do covering boxing. I, I did pretty much all of it. You know, uh, I've interviewed all my all, all the people I wanted to interview. I interviewed them for, for the most part. You know, um, I've I've covered fights that I, I've covered big fights. You know, I've got I've sat in the nosebleeds of of arenas. I've sat ringside. I've sat. In the lower level, I've sat in the club level, I've sat everywhere you can think of to sit in the arena. The thrill is just gone. The thrill is gone. And, um, you know, I, I'm proud of what I accomplished here on YouTube. I'm proud of, you know, um, what we were able to do and, and, and leaving an impression and, uh, and a contribution to the sport. But um, I'll say it again, this, this sport isn't what it seems to be. And um, I, I just feel like I can unlo unlock a lot more potential at my age and, and do more things better with my life than to, uh, to cover the sport of boxing. So um, I'm not gonna be covering boxing here on YouTube no more. You won't have to worry about me no more. Um, will I make content on YouTube? Uh, yeah. yeah. The thing is, it's more to it. You know, uh, it's more to it. I hear everything, you know, true school sports is saying, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's just a lot, you know, you know, what's going on in the sport of boxing, but it's not just that, it's basically also what's going on in the YouTube box community um, as well, you know, and uh, it's very toxic, very toxic, you know, uh, and how, ca how, how, how can it be better, you know, um, I don't know, man, I guess people just love the fact that, you know, <laughs> I guess they just love drama and they love the fact you know I'm I also have fell uh fell into the trap as far as you know when it comes to the drama part you know when I tell myself all the time that you know I don't want you know don't want the drama I, I just wanted to be all boxing all boxing all about the sport of boxing whether it's analyzing uh as an analyst analyzing certain fights or we're breaking down certain fights or talking about certain fighters you know just talking about and covering everything that's going on in the sport you know but I fell victim of tearing down certain fighters and you know and it's because basically what they put out there is is, is basically what we have to cover and I know that's part of our jobs to cover what they put out there the things they say out their mouth holding certain fighters accountable but it's just also not getting certain fights that we want to see we I mean but you gotta appreciate the fact that we've been getting some good fights lately 
but at the end of the day just getting certain fights that we want to see and then certain fighters uh, not getting the recognition you know and not being promoted the right way you know uh, not getting that spotlight is certain fighters is, is being put on the back burner you know on the back burner and just not most definitely not been a lot of fighters is not being it's not being treated the way they should be treated or promoted the way they should be promoted it's just a lot the business side of boxing the politics you know what i'm saying just a lot in the sport of boxing the racism is just a lot it's just a, a lot you know i can go even deep i can go even deeper i can go even deeper when it comes to the sport of boxing but at the end of the day i hear what true school sports i hear what true school sports is saying i hear what my brother is saying and I understand that it's just not for him. Basically, everything that's going on in the sport of boxing and also in the YouTube boxing community. I know he didn't really want to touch on that, but just a lot of the, a lot of that is going on. There's plenty of times I wanted to quit and give up. Plenty of times I wanted to delete my channel because of everything that was going on. It's no unity. You know, we can't get on here and, you know, have a normal uh, boxing debate. You know, uh, uh, just talk boxing, have a good conversation. Or have that good have a uh, have a good boxing discussion, you know, or have good. Just basically, I mean, it's just like this one big war, you know. I mean, there's a lot of it's a lot of hate. It's a lot of it's just surrounded by a lot of evil and wickedness. It's surrounded by a lot of evil and wickedness and a lot of hate, you know. And um, it's not it's it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't it shouldn't be that way. At the end of the day, people gonna see see things the way that they see, gonna see things the way they see it, the way I mean I guess whatever gets their attention, whatever excites them. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a for, from this point on, it's all about boxing. I'm not tearing down no fighter. Um, I'm not, um, you know, holding the fighter accountable. Yes, it's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, I respect every fighter that step in the ring and put their life on the line for our entertainment. I'm not here to tear down no fighter. You know, uh, I'm not here to, uh, you know, uh, judge a fighter. You know what I mean? <coughs> I'm not here to do none of that. You know, at the end of the day, I just want to talk about boxing. And I, I, I would love to see the best fight and the best. I would love for us to you know come together you know and a lot of us collab a lot of us talk about what changes need to be made in the sport of boxing what how the sport can what can make the sport what can make the sport better how the sport what some things that can how some things could be different in the sport of boxing you know what i mean um not just the drama not just the the hate and tearing down fighters and you know because I know people, drama sells, you know what I'm saying, I just like when a fighter knock out another fighter, you know, trust me, it's gonna, it's gonna be, you know, of course, a lot of people gonna, gonna come, they wanna see that, they wanna see the knockouts, they don't wanna just see a boring fight, or a fighter just outboxing another fighter and just outpointing him, they wanna see knockouts, so just like they wanna see knockouts, a lot of people wanna see drama, you know what I'm saying? So I understand all that. I'm not here to judge nobody, whatever people like what they like. But at the end of the day, I'm all about covering the sport of boxing, covering the sport. And I'm all about you most, most definitely uh, trying to motivate, encourage, and, and, uh, motivate, encourage, inspire, and uplift a fighter, not tear down a fighter. You know, at the end of the day, if I'm not going to lie, if people here, to if people subscribe to my channel uh, to hear me talk about a certain fighter or whatever, you know nobody is perfect. People gonna say what they say. They are gonna have a difference of opinion, but at the end of the day, it's all about coming together. It's all about unity. Together, to, to us, the people, together we are strong. We are powerful. Uh, it's all about love and respect. Um, hate, uh, being evil-minded, being wicked, trying to tear each other down. You know what I mean? Trying to destroy one another. You know, uh, it's just the way of the devil. That's the way of the enemy. You know, that's the way of the devil. That's the way of the enemy. A lot of people programmed to hate. A lot of people programmed to destroy. A lot of people programmed to be negative. A lot of people is not. It's, it's, it's just in them, and it's just not the way to be. It's, it's, it's all about positivity. And I know it. You know, 
I, I'm speaking to I'm talking to myself as I'm speaking to, to, to a lot of people out there that hear this that hear this video or that watch this video you know what I mean and it's all about the best fight and the best respect these fighters at the end of the day with people saying that you know this fighter is lying he's not telling the truth you know I understand that you just want to call him out on what you feel on what you feel he could be saying is a lie or just trying to hold a fighter accountable or whatever but at the end of the day you know we gotta also appreciate what these fighters do you know you gotta appreciate the knockouts we gotta appreciate you know uh, the skills of a fighter when they put on a great performance a great performance and they outbox their opponent or they knock out a, it's not just all about knocking out your opponent but also breaking them down and getting winning a unanimous decision or, or winning a split decision or winning and winning a majority decision or just you know what I'm saying or you just basically win TKO or knockout but at the end of the day we got to respect these fighters because they step in the ring and put their life on the line for our entertainment and we can't act like we don't enjoy you know this, these fighters and what they do you know we can talk bad about a fighter we can we can talk bad about a fighter we can try to tear down a fighter we can try to uh, and it goes for it goes for a lot of, it's go it goes for everybody out there that's that's just you know trying to tear down a fighter or talk bad about a fighter you know what I mean and at the end of the day you know it's it's just basically some a, a certain group of people just uh, see things different different uh, see things different from others and uh, that's what creates a war because they way of thinking <clears throat> people was programmed to think a certain way they have a different view they have a different perspective on how they see things how they view things but at the end of the day you know real men come together just like a real woman a, a talk to another woman and have a a conversation if they have different if they have if they don't agree and sometimes they can agree to disagree if they have differences they talk about it they work it out if they have a problem with each other they work talk about it and they work it out that's what real women do and real men they have a problem with each other they talk about it and they work it out you know what I'm saying not try to kill one another not try to destroy one another not try to destroy and, 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 and take one another out take each other out I'm sorry it's all about coming together shaking hands and it's all about respect if even if you agree to disagree even if you had difference of opinion it's all about love and respect it's all about coming together you know what I'm saying some of the best warriors some of the best gladiators some of the best warriors and gladiators some of the best fighters in the world was able to shake hands hug each other and show love and respect no matter if they was black no matter if they was white don't matter if they was Asian, you know what I'm saying? So don't matter what country they come from, no matter what continent or country they come from, you know what I'm saying? They was able to show respect. They was able to, to respect each other after they went to war. You know what I mean? After they went to war. You know, and that's where that's the way it should be. It's it's about coming together. It's about unity. It's about coming together, you know, um, and understanding that and, and, and coming to understanding. You know what I'm saying? We have a lot of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, we can't be the way of be be of this world. This world may be soon be destroyed. We can't be of this world. <laughs> we have to be the way of the Creator, of the God who created us. We have to be the way, be the way of our Lord and Savior. I know people different religions and believe in different gods or whatever, but we it's 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 there is a God. I'm a spiritual person, so. We have to be one with God, the creator of the uni heavens and the universe, you know, so we have to be one with God. And I know that there is a God from experience. I know there is a God and the God is of love and we have to be just like God, our creator. We have to be a love, peace, love, joy and happiness, not being evil minded, not being cold hearted, not being wicked, not being wicked, not trying to not being of evil not being of of operating in wickedness not being of evil having a cold heart not having hate not being jealous not none of that we have to love each other we have to inspire one inspire one another motivate encourage one another lift each other up lift us lift each other up not tear each other down you know what i mean so 
all I'm saying is that the it's not about race. It's not about race. We all were created. We all were created. And we all come from the same God. And I know that God is of love, peace, love, joy, and happiness. And all I'm saying is that we can do better. We can do better. We got to put an end to this war. Because violence, violence, and being evil minded, being wicked, being cold hearted. Violence, being evil, being wicked, being cold hearted, being evil minded only leads to destruction. That's what that's what the devil wants. The devil comes to kill, steal and destroy. We have to be of love. We got to make sure that our, our spirit man is in the right place. We have to have love. We have to be of love, not hate. Because hate, hatred, I'm sorry to tell y'all, but hatred and evil and wickedness leads to destruction. Leads to destruction. That's what the enemy wants. That's what the devil wants. The devil wants to kill, steal, and destroy. And he wants us. He wants us to destroy each other. It's it's not about race. We all are brothers and sisters. We come from the same God. It's I, I see the big picture. A lot of very powerful men and women wants uh, wants destruction. They want to divide and conquer. They want destruction. They want us to destroy each other. They want civil war. They want a lot of these things. It's a part of the agenda. It's a part of the agenda of a new world order. It's a part of an agenda. They want us to destroy each other. They want us to tear each other down. That's why from the beginning they program us to be a certain way. Just like our father could have been programmed. Grandfather, grandmother, grandmother, grandmother great grandmother could have been programmed to be a certain way and it didn't be passed down generation to generation to be a certain way and so only see things one way and that way could be the wrong way but we have to operate in a way in a way operate in a way that we know is the right way once we know deep within within ourselves that our spirit is in the right place, that our soul is in the right place, <clears throat> that not just flesh, the flesh goes into the ground, the flesh will be destroyed soon, but that the spirit is in the right place, that the spirit is with God and is in the right place, and I know that we was desi was designed we were designed we were created to love and not hate so at the end of the day if I lose subscribers I'm not worried about it anymore but all I'm, I'm here to tell the truth and I want people to know the truth I want people to hear the truth that it's about love and respect it's, it's about you, it's all about unity coming together together we are strong we are God's people we are people of love not hate but yeah we have to practice what we preach yeah it's easier said than done <clears throat> but it can be done it can be done what's going on in the YouTube box community Sooner or later, there's going to be a lot of a lot of other guys that's going to be like, hey, I'm not going to be able to do this anymore because I want to talk boxing. I want to be able to, to go to different platforms and be able to have conversations, have a conversation with other men or women and have a conversation with other men and women. 
you know, about boxing in a, and, and, and we respect each other. Sometimes it get heated, I understand, but we respect each other. We love each other. You know, we don't know each other, but we love each other because that's just the way. That's the way to be. When we when we having conversations, when we're having a conversation about boxing, when we're talking about boxing, talking about maybe our favorite fighters or other fighters. You know what I mean? Let's just talk about what fight will be a good fight. Who what style against what style is going to make a good fight? Who may be better than the other guy? What this guy need to work on? What that guy need to work on? And then it can be also be better. But at the end of the day, they're not going to listen to us when it comes to the people that's over boxing. And how dirty the sport can be. And how a lot of people, how a lot of people that, uh, that's over the, these fighters and that's controlling these fighters how some of these guys are really operate how these guys really do how these guys really do business and how a lot of these guys treat certain fighters so it's a, it's a lot of evil and wickedness going on in the sport of boxing and sports in general but at the end of the day we have to speak out about it once we find out and once we know the truth we speak on it but we fight for what's right we fight for it to be better we fight we speak out we have a voice. Let the voice be heard. Because the pe us the people, that's all about love and happiness and doing and doing what's right. The, us great leaders, us great warriors, us great leaders. We want what we want. We want everything to be in and want everything to fall into place. We want things to be in order. We want everything to be in order. We want everything to be... <coughs> to be right we want everything to be in order we want uh we want uh to everything to be fair we want we want the sport of boxing to be fair we want the sport of boxing but at the end of the day will we ever get the sport of boxing being in order and not out of place and everything being fair meaning meaning that you know if the if the enemy or Satan don't have his hand on it, if this if the devil or Satan don't have his hand on it, everything is out of control. Everything is about doing doing it this way. And there's a lot of evil and wickedness that surrounds what's going on. What's when when it when it comes to the sport of boxing. The people that's over the sport of boxing, the people that's a part of the sport of boxing, not just promoters, but the sanctioning bodies, you know, and a lot of a lot of powerful men that have a lot of money invested into the sport of boxing. That even these guys have the right mind, have a good heart, and do what's right. Not rob fighters. Not cheap, not 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 cheap fighters out of out of a win, out of a vic, out, out of a win, out of a victory. Not cheap fighters, but actually give fighters the recognition, the spotlight, promote them the right way, and when they win the fight, and knowing that they won the fight, give them their give them give them the W, give them their victory, not rob them. But you take away from a fighter because this fighter may have a lot of money invested into him so he gets the he gets the win even though he lost everything being fair not everything not the sport being dirty or crooked not being dirty or being a, a sport where it's just a lot of uh dirty business taking place a lot of dirty business taking place of people being cold-hearted being evil and being wicked and trying to build, they build you up and then they try to destroy you and they try to they build you up right but the same fighter they build up they can they try to destroy and bring them down they build them up to the, to knock them down they build them up to knock them down and to destroy his career because maybe he don't want to move a certain way he don't want to he, he don't want to do the things that they want him to do he wants to be great he want to fight certain fighters so the fact that he go against what they're doing so they're going to find a way 
to take to 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 knock him down, to destroy him, to destroy to destroy him, to knock him down. They're gonna find a way to to deal with him because he's not doing things according according to plan, according to their plans. He's not doing things according to their plans. He wanna do it his way because he wanna fight the best guys out there. He wanna be great. He want to be, be be considered as one of the best fighters in the world when it's all said and done. He want to be a future legend. It's about legacy. Not listening to to these to certain promoters and and and, and a lot of guys that's over over that's 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 pretty much controlling their careers and telling them no we can't fight this fighter no no it's no money over there it's not big money we're gonna we want the net we want a certain fighter that can draw that can that can that can sell out uh, venues that can sell that can sell out venues that can get get a, that can get get us the most money that we can get the most money out of we looking for that fighter we can get the most money out of the guy that a, a guy that can sell. <clears throat> That's what we looking for. So forget about fighting this guy right here. You know what I'm saying? That have two titles or probably could be the top guy. But it's just that he doesn't he 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 doesn't have the fan base like he doesn't have a fan base like that. Or his or he can't really sell. Or he can't he's not a big draw. His his name doesn't hold too much weight. But what about the things he accomplished? Ain't, ain't it's about legacy, right? It's about accomplishing and being great by fighting the best guys out there. The money will put the money will come. The money is there. But but the thing is how this country is is built on it's built on greed. So at the end of the day, I understand you gotta feed your family, take care of your family and, and do what's best for your family and things of that nature. I understand that you just you, you wanna you wanna you wanna you you know you wanna live comfortable comfortably. You know, you want to live comfortably. So you basically want the biggest money you can get. You know, you work hard, you prepare yourself, and you put yourself in position. So now you feel now it's time for big paydays. So you can go live the life. You know, have you can you you got the fame. You you want to live this life. You know, live this life, having all those nice materialistic materialistic things and things of nature the best cars the nice the best home you know the flies rides and things of that nature the 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 nice jewelry the best clothes get it all tat up and just do what you want to do and be free and all that but at the end of the day what's more important is being a, it becoming a legend and being known as a fighter that fought the best guys out there and sometimes the guys um that's over their over their career and who they're assigned to. Sometimes those guys can hinder a fighter and can 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 uh, block a fighter from being for, uh, block a fighter for, uh, from being great. Can block a guy for, for a fighter from for, uh, for for fighting the best guys out there and being great. Yes, a fighter has say so, but he's signed to a contract, especially if he has a, a promoter and a and a part of a promotion company. You know what I'm saying? You know, at the end of the day. They tell you, well, talk. To, I got to talk to my promoter. Talk to such and such. Talk this. Talk. Yeah, they, yeah. You have to talk to him because they have a contract with him, and he's over that fighter's career. And so they, in his head, telling them, no, this is who we're gonna get. This is fighter. This is the fight. You know, even if the fighter was like, nah, I want him. That's the one, of the best guys out there. He got a belt. You know, a real belt. You know, in their eyes. You know, so I want to fight him, the champion. Oh, he got two belts. I want to go after him. Oh, he got three belts. I want to go after him. You know, and then the hate that these fighters have for each other. You know, the hate. You know, some some fighters have have hate ha, have hate towards each other. Some fighters are feeling feeling some type of way towards each other. It just it has to be it, it just it, it has to be better. You know, it's all about love and respect at the end of the day. You know, sometimes it can be programmed in a fighter's mind that nah, yeah, this guy, this guy, you know, so you can be programmed to act a certain way towards this guy or feel a certain way towards this guy or this guy's the enemy and things of that nature. You know, so it's just, it's toxic. The toxicity, it's just toxic. You know what I'm saying? The drama in the sport of boxing. The war that's going on between certain fighters, 
And I know a lot of fighters, you know, once they have fought it, once once they have gotten the ring with each other, they show respect, they show love. At the end of the day, they 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 are very they are competitive. Uh, they are athletes, so they are very competitive. At the end of the day, some fighters really have the conf. A lot of fighters should have that confidence of me as, as and have that attitude that I'm the best fighter. So this guy can't beat me. This guy can't beat me. Sometimes a fighter be a little worried that this guy, I don't know, it's gonna be a tough fight. I want to fight him, but I don't know. It could be a chance this guy can give me my first L. I have to be ready. I have to be prepared. I might need to be ready. Need to. I need. Might need to take some time. Uh, I might. I think it might need to take me a little bit more time before I prepare for a certain style like that. So sometimes fighters have it on their mind, or sometimes even their team or the men that that be over their over their careers who they who they uh have contracts with can tell them. We're not ready for that because it's all about it's a business, right? It's a business, so we're not ready for that. One day that fight is going to be bigger than it than than wait, fighting that guy now. We we get we make money, but we can make twice as twice as more twice as much as, as we can make twice as much money if we wait for this guy two years or three years we can wait we can wait we can make way more money if we wait for this guy two or three years down the line you know and knowing that that fight we ready to see that fight now but we they make us wait two or three years they fighter they keep they fighter for fighting this other the other best guy out there because they know that it you know sooner or later the fight can generate a lot more money people being uh, it's highly anticipated people waiting people be like we finally get it so after waiting two years or three years the fight have become bigger you know what I mean because of pretty much basically how they had it all set up you know bringing more people bringing more people uh, bringing more people to to put money into it bringing more people to put money into it so <clears throat> next thing you know it's a lot more money put into it you know, a lot more people uh, in anticipating the fight. A lot of more people wanting to see the fight, bringing a lot more fans in, where people just want to see this fighter win, that fighter win, or their fans, and then other people really wanting to see the fight. You know, uh, so it makes the fight even bigger because now the fight has has uh, you know the fight has has pretty much you know gotten bigger because now we've been waiting for so long. And you now we hearing about it and people talking about it. It's all now it's out. It's it's, it's pretty much in the media. It's public. It's it's all over social media. It's public. People talking about it for two three years. Then we finally get it. The fight is bigger than it was two or three years ago. Basically, but that's what they. That's how they how they how they do things. It was all planned. You know. We couldn't. We get the. We the fight at this time. At this particular time right now, our fight is worth 10 million. No, we gonna wait. We gonna let this fight build and build and build to the point where sooner or later it can become worth 50 million. It once was worth 10 million. Now it's worth 50. See what I'm saying? So it's just a lot that goes on. It's a lot that goes on in the sport of boxing. You know, a lot that goes on. You know, and I just say that uh, it's a lot. Got a lot of these fighters have hate towards each other. A lot of fighters that, that show, a lot of fighters respect each. Some fighters respect each other and show love to each other, but because of what they're hearing, you know what I mean. But it's also people in their in their ears putting it in their head. You know what I mean that yeah, this fighter is ducking you. This fighter is avoiding you. You know, and then his fans attack the that fighter fans attack the other fighter that's ducking him. Or uh, his fans pretty much go at it go go at it with his, with his fans, the fighter that wants to fight, and the fighter that's ducking his fans protect him and go after and go after that fighter and go to war with his fans. So it just see how see how everything how everything be going like like all the things that be taking place, all the things that be going on, you know in the sport of boxing you know but um all I do know is that uh you know a lot a lot of things could change a lot of things can change and all I'm saying is all about love and respect 
All I'm saying is about love and respect, about encouraging one another. This world can be a better place if people just respect each other and love each other and help each other grow. Not tear each other down, but help each other grow. But a lot of the very powerful men and women around the world, the kings, rulers, they may have different names, different titles, but they won't divide and conquer. They want civil war. They want us to destroy each other. They want us to come against each other. They want us to take each other out. There's too many people upon the face of this earth. So in so many different ways, and so many different so many different forms, so many different ways they want us to to take each other take each other out, wipe each other out. You know. Sometimes it sometimes it could be bigger than boxing. And and yes, it is racism. Racism is alive in boxing. It is. <clears throat> but we got to focus, but we got to be different. Because a man can have a change of heart. A man can change his way of thinking once you have great leaders. We need a lot of great leaders in the sport of boxing. A lot of great leaders, a lot of role models, a lot of leaders that 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 teach love and not hate. That 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 that, that shows respect. That shows that shows that shows that show the uh, that lead by example and that show the way of being a role model. You know, by encouraging even the generation, generations, you know, of teens, young adults, middle-aged men, and even elderly, you know, a generation, you know, because you're never too old to see different, you're never too old to change, you know, but at the end of the day, it's about unity, it's about love and respect, it's about unity, and it's about love, and it's about, it's about unity and it's about love and it's about respect not just trying to destroy one another not trying to kill one another and, and trying to bring each other down and that goes for the sport of boxing and that goes for people in the YouTube boxing community you know some people feel like they not they don't want to never uh, change they, they don't see no wrong in, in the things they say. In the wrong, in, they don't see no wrong in the things they do. But all I'm saying is that the the one day, the only way to freedom, the only way to freedom, is is love. The only way to freedom, love, joy, happiness, peace, love, joy, and happiness, and freedom, is by having a good heart and seeking God. One day, the only way to freedom, the only way to freedom is through peace, love, joy, and happiness. And the only way of freedom is God. The only way we're going to be victorious in this very evil, wicked world. Some people feel like they're living a good life. No problems, no issues, not, no, nothing they're dealing with. They're content with how they're living. They're content with the things that they're doing. Sometimes we gonna have, we gonna have, we gonna, we gonna fall. And I'm telling you right now, you operating evil and wickedness. Trust me. It's gonna be sometimes you fall again. You may have failed before, and survive those times. And I know it was the Almighty, the Almighty God that allowed you to survive so many, uh, so many, uh, that broke so many strongholds and allowed you to, uh, to survive so many falls. You know, allowed you to get up from so many falls and allow you to survive so many life and death situations. But at the end of the day, with 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 hating your heart and having an evil mentality, sometimes you fall, you might and you might not never get back up. So it's all about putting God first, and it's all about love, not jealousy, not it's not be envying a person, not having any animosity. Not not uh, having bad things to say, being negative, being evil minded, being cold hearted. The, that's the way of this world that will soon that will one day be destroyed. But at the end of the day, the way of God is for all eternity. It's for eternity. The way of God is for eternity. 
we all are great men and women and we have to believe that we all are leaders we all are role models that's the way to be love and respect that's the way to be that's the way to live we're not perfect we have our ups and downs we have our battles we have times we go through we deal with a lot we struggle but at the end of the day we got to continue to fight But that's motivate and encourage each other. Something is it's, it's bigger than boxing. That's motivate and encourage encourage each other. And that goes for that goes for guys on on on, on both sides on both sides. That goes for guys. That goes for the people on both sides. That goes for. Everybody in the YouTube boxing community. It's time to put an e end to this war. It's, we're living in some very evil and wicked times. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we can't hate each other. We have to love each other. And when we're down, we have to strengthen each other. Encourage each other motivate inspire one another lift each other up spiritually lift each other's spirits high but we can't do that because we programmed to hate be evil be negative be cold-hearted be the way of this world which the ones who have control and dominion on a lot of things on this earth and have control and have power a large percentage of those people don't care about you even if you follow their blueprint even if you follow in their footsteps don't care about you sometimes they're only to build you up to help you grow but also to tear you down the only way of love happiness being a great man and women being a great person and your spirit go on for eternity to be with God to, to be with God is through God to have love not hate but love not be of evil but be of good have love and not hate that's the way because evil will be defeated evil will be defeated and the enemy that in the enemy the devil Satan that has people programmed a lot of people fall with him or going to, and go, is going to meet their end with him but you can allow that you cannot allow that to happen You have to be of God Whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not You have to be of God I'm not big on religion But I am a spiritual person And I believe That there is a God And that God And I believe in Jesus Christ But that God is powerful All knowing, all powerful And that God is of love <clears throat> And I'm telling you right now from experience You have to be of love and not hate we have to be leaders and not followers and when we're battling battling with things in life and going through and struggling with things in life we have to be we have to remember that we are strong in the Lord and the power is might we have the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness the full arm of God and the sword of the spirit and stand against everything that the enemy tries to do what Satan tries to do what he tries to bring our way how he tries to tear us down get in our head put thoughts in our head put negative thoughts in our head tell us that we have to go out and destroy this man take this man out we have to go be this way we have to say this we have to say that tear this man down do that we have to know that's not the way to be and I'm not and the thing is I'm not going to ever sell my soul to be somebody that I know I'm not. 
because I have love and respect for I have love and respect for every single one of y'all, and I have love and respect for every fighter that step in the ring to put his life on the line for our entertainment. Whether people watch this video or not, you don't have to, but I hope you hear me. I hope you really hear me. We are living in some evil and wicked times. We are surrounded by evil and wickedness. And the prince of this world is here to steal, kill, and destroy. And to take you out. To have you feel, to, to make you believe and have you programmed that you have to be the way you are. That you have to have, that you have to operate in evil and wickedness. That you have to be cold hearted. That you have to be negative minded or evil minded. That you have to tear people down. That you have to talk bad about people. That you have to be this way. That you have to be racist. You not know. That's not the way to be. That's not the way to be. We have to be of love. And the way of, and the way of God is the way of God and that is of love and I give God all the honor the praise and the, all the love the honor and the praise because he saved my life so many times I've been in so many life and death situations we can't tear each other down we gotta stop it this video might be an hour, an hour long, but it's okay. I want it to be an hour long because I want y'all to hear me. I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. We may could have been brainwashed and programmed to hate a long time ago, but we can break free. We can be free. We can no longer be the way, be that way. Because it probably was all orchestrated and all set up and designed by the devil himself. But we can't operate in the ways of wickedness. We can't operate in the ways of the devil. We have to operate in the ways of God. We have to operate. We have to be that man that show respect, that man of love, that man to encourage, that man to motivate, to inspire. Not that man to tear down. I love every single one of y'all, all of y'all in the YouTube boxing community, but we have to do better. And people in the sport of, and, and the fight, these fighters in the sport of boxing, you guys have to be leaders, role models. You guys have to do better. <clears throat> Some of y'all have to do better. And a lot of these people with these networks and things of that nature. You guys were programmed to be away. A lot of these, a lot of these people with these promotional companies, men in suit, sanctioning bodies. There's a lot of evil and corrupt men that has big money tied into the sport of boxing. Even you guys have to do better and have to be, and have to have a change of heart and be delivered be delivered your mind be restored but your heart be have a, that you have a change of heart that you be delivered and you be set free from your evil ways and your evil doing that you may change before it's all said and done before you leave the face of this earth before you leave this planet that you have a change of heart and that you be the man you were designed to be to do the will of God Andrew Tucker, Andrew Tucker World, and I'm out. I love y'all. But let's lift each other up. Let's encourage and motivate and inspire each other. Let's not tear each other down. It's about love and respect. Being great men and women. And being of God, and not the devil. Andrew Tucker, Andrew Tucker World, I'm out. Much love and respect.